Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the Swiss Legend Sergeant. Mine is Silver Tome with the blue dial. Uh, model number is SL1006333. So let's get started. Uh, here you can see the uh, standard Swiss Legend uh, cardboard box. It's a gloss red with the Swiss Legend logo. Let's pop that open and you get the uh, presentation box. The presentation box is an imitation leather with uh, contrasting double white stitching all the way around. Nice box, cool profile. Uh, pops up on the front with the clasp. You got the Swiss Legend logo on top. There's the watch itself, the Sergeant, and on a uh, imitation leather pillow here, logo again. I'm just going to put that aside for a second so we can see what else is in the box. Um, you will get a little plaque here that goes on the bracelet, Swiss Legend, plastic and you'll get the owner's manual. Uh, this is a generic manual. You can see it's got some other watches in here, uh, but it describes how to operate the watch and everything, uh, the warranty. And this is a, let's see if I can find it in here. Nah, whatever. This is a uh, Safatec crystal model. So this also talks about the warranty for that. There it is. Uh, so that's just something extra in there. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Anyway. That's what's in the box. I'm going to put that back here to the back. And let's get the watch off the pillow and take a look at the Swiss Legend Sergeant. Okay. So this is the Sergeant. Again, model number SL1006333. Uh, mine is the silver tone with blue dial and bezel. Uh, this comes in at 43 millimeters diameter without the crown, 13 millimeters thick. Uh, this has a 22 millimeter wide bracelet, lug to lug, and uh, I'm sorry, not lug to lug, 22 millimeter wide bracelet, uh, and it's powered by a uh, Swiss chronograph, ISA uh, 8172 uh, 220. All right. So let's start looking at the watch itself. Uh, the case here, you can see it's brushed on the front, polished on the sides, nice mirror polish, uh, very good. You can see my camera right there. Same on this side. Uh, matches up with the matching brush bracelet. And the bracelet is brushed on the sides, polished in the middle, nice mirror polish on it. Uh, well finished. It's got solid links, also solid end links. Very nice to see, especially at this price point. And it has an interesting clasp here. We'll get back to the clasp in a second. Uh, let's take a look at the front of the watch here. Let me get a little closer. Uh, the Sergeant is a chronograph, quartz chronograph. Um, let me show you how to operate it here. You'll see it's got three separate crowns here. Uh, well, I should say a crown and two pushers. Uh, it's a screw down crown, uh, just push, uh, non screw down pushers, uh, screw down case back as well, by the way. To operate the watch, uh, the timekeeping part of the watch, or constant time, whatever you want to call it. You unscrew the crown, you can see me doing that there. Uh, first pull out is going to be your date. Second pull out is the time. So I'm just going to adjust the time here a little bit. You don't want to adjust your date between 9 and uh, 9 a.m. Sorry, 9 p.m. and uh, 3 a.m. So let's put it down here. Two, two clicks out is time. So you can uh, see it adjusting there. And one click out is date. So you can see the date window there at 4 o'clock. Okay. All right. And then make sure you screw down your crown or you will not have water resistance. So that's definitely very important. Also on the crown here, you can see it's got the, uh, the Swiss Legend logo uh, engraved there on the crown, which is also mirror finish. Taking a closer look at the dial here, uh, you'll see again the Safatec crystal just barely uh, standing out over the bezel. Underneath the Safatec crystal, you have uh, 12 hour indices, with uh, the 12 being the only numeric indice. The rest are just the, uh, the bars. Uh, they're chrome or polished around the edges, as well as the subdial rings and the hands. Um, and they're filled with loom. Uh, I believe this is Super Luminova. Uh, decent loom, and we'll get to that later with the, uh, the dark shot. Uh, you can see, let me zoom in a little bit closer here. I want to get. A little better detail. Okay. 
Uh, you can see there it's got the Swiss Legend logo up at the top and then you have subdials at 2 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 10 o'clock. Hour, minute, and second hands are all red tipped as well as all the subdial hands. Very nice. Everything's lined up well, everything's good. The only, uh, I guess, nitpick I would have on the dial fit and finish, you can see the 2 uh, on the 12 is just a little bit counterclockwise uh, crooked. <laughs> Very, very slight, um, and that's really, you know, a pretty minor thing, but when you're looking at it close up like this, you can tell. Otherwise, not bad. Anyway, also you'll see there it's got a little uh, ring around the edge with, you can, as you can see, the 5 and the 10 there. They actually stick out a little bit uh, towards the hour markers, which is pretty cool. And it has a ring in the dial engraved there. Very nice. Uh, so this is a chronograph. Along with the timekeeping, you have a uh, chronograph that operates with the two pushers over here on the side. Okay. Uh, the second hand for just everyday timekeeping is actually the 2 o'clock subdial. The 10 o'clock subdial is chronograph minutes, and the 6 o'clock subdial is day of the week. So this does have day of the week as well. Um, to operate the chronograph, this is your start stop over here, the 2 o'clock pusher. The 4 o'clock pusher is pause and reset, okay? So, this is just stationary uh, starting out from zero uh, with the chronograph. First press of the 2 o'clock pusher starts the chronograph there. You can see it measures in fifths of a second. Uh, if I want to pause it, I can hit the top pusher, okay? And that's just all this does. It's, start, it's basically start-stop, uh, okay? Now, if it's running, let's say we have two, two uh, runners in a race. Um, if the first runner crosses the finish line and I want to record his time, I can press the bottom button here, which is to pause, uh, but it also keeps the time running. So let's say the first runner crosses the, li crosses the line, I will push the 4 o'clock pusher, and you can see if the number stops. So let's say here it's at 30 seconds. Now I can record that time, but at the same time the watch is keeping track of the elapsed time. So when I hit this pusher again, you're going to see it's going to jump forward, probably to about 40 seconds to watch this. There you go, huh? 45, okay. So anyway, you can see it, it's still keeping track of time. So you can record one. Now let's say the second guy crosses the line. I can pause it and record his time, okay? And then I can jump back to where we were. So that's cool, and you're going to see there. It's going to jump to one minute, and there you go. So that's the, uh, the 10 o'clock minute, chronograph minute. Once you're ready to uh, reset the chronograph back to zero, you hit the top one to stop the chronograph, and bottom at 4 o'clock, to reset the chronograph and you'll see that it will sweep across the dial until it goes back to the 12 o'clock position and the minute hand resets to zero okay uh, what else with the dial that's about it really um, well finished uh, no problems there just the the, the two on the 12 o'clock is like I said the only nitpick uh, you might notice as well that my chronograph minute is just slightly off center let me see if I can get that to sharpen up a little bit yeah uh, but that's that's actually adjustable. Uh, you'll have to look that up in the manual, but there is a way to adjust it. I just haven't bothered to do so. Uh, this has a 120 click unidirectional bezel. Uh, nice positive action. It doesn't uh, adjust when you bump it against something or anything like that, like if it runs against your jeans or something like that when you put your hand in your pocket. Uh, it does not slip. Uh, nice positive action. It's got a minor play, but not bad. Uh, and it does line up at the 12 o'clock position. It's scalloped on the edges, polished, with a nice uh, nice taper there, I guess you could say. No vertical play, um, very little lateral play. So that's very nice. Uh, and this has the Safatec crystal, like I said. Safatec is Swiss Legends version of uh, like synthetic sapphire, essentially. Um, they claim that it's almost as resilient as Sapphire and uh, on their uh, World of Watches they have a, uh, a uh, sale TV show I guess um, that they do and you'll see the the show host pull out a pocket knife and just sit there running against the, uh, the watch face and uh, it doesn't scratch and I've never tried that I've tried it with keys and it does not scratch only thing is is it a little bit it's a little bit uh, brittle at times but that's okay. I, I mean, I'm, that's how any crystal is going to be. I have cracked one, um, but that was my fault. I dropped it 
uh, on concrete and it landed face down. So you know uh, that's gonna that's gonna break any crystal basically. Uh, cracks like that are not covered under warranty, but deep scratches are covered, uh, warranted for 10 years. So that's pretty impressive. Um, Let's take a look at the back of the watch and the bracelet here. Let's go to the bracelet, actually. This has a kind of unique bracelet. Um, I haven't seen it on any other watch. I mean, I don't have any other watches that have this bracelet. Uh, I believe this is called a butterfly clasp. Uh, so you'll see it's actually pretty much hidden on the back. Uh, you can see the little small links there. But it looks pretty cool. It's pretty streamless. Uh, nice polishing and brushing on the bracelet. Uh, they did a good job there. But you'll see... It has a uh, double hinge here, so when you open it, give it a pull, and it actually pops on both sides, so that's pretty cool. This is all stainless steel, case and bracelet, and the clasp. It works with a little spring bar there, you can see, and that's one piece that goes across the whole thing. Uh, pretty interesting, and it gives a ton of room when you're putting this watch on your wrist, uh, as you'll see in a second. Uh, it can be a little bit hard to put back on sometimes but uh, it's not a big deal I think it's pretty interesting my only uh, my only comment with that is that I wish that they had had some more adjustments here on the bracelet because I can't quite get the fit that I like uh, I like it to be not tight but just snug on my wrist and I can't quite get that with this watch it's a little bit loose but taking another link out would have made it pretty much unwearable for me it would have been too tight so how I put this uh, butterfly clasp on I put it center of my wrist and then I take the clasp, hold it with my uh, third and thumb fingers, and then with my index, I push on this and kind of get a little leverage. And you got to do them one at a time there like that. Uh, no one that I've had try to close this clasp has been able to figure it out without a little, uh, little confusion or frustration there. Let me zoom out a little bit here just so you can see it on the wrist. Uh, I know a lot of viewer, viewers had commented that I, don't, I forget to put it on my wrist or don't put watches on my wrist enough. So I'm going to make sure and try to do that for you guys a little more. Uh, here you can see it on my uh, 7.5, 7 three quarter inch wrist. Um, sorry for the scratch there. Uh, I've been working with my hands a lot recently. Anyway, uh, nice finishing on the bracelet. Again, you can see this is the 22 millimeter bracelet. And here's the actual watch on my wrist. Uh, again, 7.5, 7 three quarter inch wrist. I think that this is just about perfect uh, diameter and lug to lug for me personally. Of course, that's, uh, that's all preference. So your, your t uh, preference may vary, but that's it on the wrist. Let me zoom out a little bit more if I can. That's about all I got. Very nice. Uh, with the 13 millimeter height though, uh, and I'm actually surprised that it isn't more than that, uh, but with that, with that height, it can be a little hard to fit under. If you're wearing a dress shirt or something, if you button the cuff on the dress shirt, this is probably not going to fit under it, or if it is, you're going to have to kind of pull it over you know um, that's it's not very it's not really very fitted for that um, I wear my dress shirts here in Florida rolled up most of the time so that's not really an issue for me or for more casual wear but just something to be uh, you know take note of anyway that's it on the wrist uh, and you can see that that chunkiness there and it does this big crown here does hit my wrist just a little bit there on the top the back of my hand I mean Okay, uh, let's take a look at the case back real quick. Polished case back, laser engraved. You see it says Swiss Legend Sergeant there. Uh, Swiss Quartz Chronograph Movement, Safetec Crystal, 316L Stainless Steel, Water Resistant 10 Atmosphere, uh, 330 feet, which is 100 meters. I have taken this swimming and everything in the pool, no problems. Uh, just again, make sure that you got this screwed down nice and tight, the crown. Um, or you basically have zero water resistance. Anyway, let's get a, uh, a night shot so I can show you the loom, and then we'll come back for just some closing comments. All right, so we got the lights off. Uh, we're here with the Swiss Legend Sergeant. Uh, you can see the loom here. It's got the uh, hour markers, hour, minute, and second hands are loomed along with the loom pip. The subdial hands are not loomed, uh, neither are the new numbers around the bezel. Uh, Overall, decent loom. Uh, it's not super thick, so it's not uh, not extremely long-lasting, but uh, it's it's pretty good. I would say it's easily readable for at least a couple hours. It, it's not something that's going to last you till like the next morning. Uh, you know, you charge it at 
10 o'clock when you go to bed or whatever, when you get up, 6, 5, whatever, uh, it's, it's pretty much gone. But it, it's not bad for what it is. Uh, it is a little bit brighter here on the camera uh, compared to real life, but not too far off. So that's the loom. Anyway, let's get the lights back on for some uh, final comments. All right, we are back with the Swiss Legend Sergeant. Uh, just some final comments. I paid, I believe it was $90, I want to say, for this watch uh, at, from World of Watches. Uh, not affiliated with World Watches or Swiss Legend in any way. I pay for this with my own money, everything. For $90, I think that the, the value set, the features that you're getting, is definitely worth the price. I can think of a few, uh, a few models from different manufacturers that cost considerably more, uh, but don't really give you much more in uh, in features of course you know you can think of brand and uh, service and all that to take into account if you're just looking for a good watch with good build quality uh, I would say that this is a great pick for a great price you're getting the screw down crown screw down case back the Safatec crystal which in my experience has been a great option is much better than metal crystal uh, you're getting the chronograph function you're getting solid links on the bracelet solid end links as well Really, you're getting a lot for the money. At the price point, I think that that's a great deal. Just be just be aware of where you buy from. Some places I've seen it as much as like $200 for the same watch. It comes in a lot of different finishes. You can get it, uh, they have the, the, the brushed and polished finish on the case and bracelet, but they also have it with black, uh, the DLC finishing. They also have different dial colors. Uh, they have it black, white, silver, gold. So there's a lot of different finishes that you can get. Swiss Legend is pretty good with that. So there's something for everybody. For the price point, again, though, I think that this is a great pick. Put in the comments what you think. Let me know. Uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, I'm pretty good at getting back to you. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Welcome back to another Walter's Wacky Watch Watches wiz of Wisdom and Words. So high. <laughs>